Hey guys, you know what today is? It's March 1st. It's the first day that I weigh in since January 1st of 2019, and I weighed 479 pounds. Got my new scale in. We're gonna do an unboxing and an opening of that here in just one second, and we'll do the first weigh in and see how much I came down to from 479. We'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm gonna get the scale here from Amazon. We got the new one. Just got it in yesterday. I wanted it open up so bad and try it out, but I wanna do this for you guys all at uh, one time so you guys can uh, uh, see the first way in with me. I didn't wanna cheat you guys, so I wanted to open it up in front of you, do a little unboxing and uh, review of the scale real quick so you, maybe if you guys want to get one you can get one so here we go I'm gonna cut this open so I could have got a sharper knife So, the one I got is the Ozeri Precision Pro Max 560, 560 pounds. It's supposed to weigh up to. That's the main reason I got it, just to uh, make sure that, you know, those heavy weights can get on there. So, it says minimum of 11 pounds and maximum of 560 pounds. If you read that on the box. <clears throat> That's one of the main reasons I got this scale. The other reason is that it just... Uh, went on sale on Amazon. I will post a link down in the description below. So if you guys wanna go get you one, I, I did a lot of searching before I came across this one. There was another one that uh, talked to you, but when I read the reviews, there were a lot of people that were having problems with them. So I kind of stayed away from that one. Um, so that's why I went with this one. The reviews were also pretty good. The price was good and they weighed up to 560 pounds. So I know that I've had to have lost uh, some weight. I don't know how much exactly, because I haven't weighed since, uh, like I said, since January 1st of uh, 2019. But I do know that I, ha I have been wearing clothes that I haven't been able to wear for, uh, you know, a year or two. So, let's see, we'll open this box up so you guys can see it. Yeah, there's the scale. It's supposed to have everything in here. Real nice, heavy. It's pretty, pretty heavy. So we got the scale. It's wrapped in plastic. Let's we'll take that out. Have the uh, owner's manual. And it comes with a pair of fat calipers so you can measure your body fat. And I guess this is the tape measure. This rolls the tape measure up on it, I guess, because you gotta. I know that is a tape measure. Tape measure's in there. It's got a tape where you can measure your body parts. And then it has uh, four batteries. Uses AAA, so they're AAA batteries. So packaging is pretty nice. There again, it says it weighs up to 560 pounds. That's the main reason. So, I'll set the batteries over here. Let me cut them open so I can get them in there. I don't know if it uses all four. I thought I said it used three. Measuring tape, I don't know if I need that. If you want to keep measurements, I probably won't use that too much. And uh, fat calipers, I'm, I'm not getting into no sport or bodybuilding event where I really need those. If you want to know what yours is, I guess it's pretty cool if you have it.
Got the owner's manual here. It says 560 pounds. Warnings on here, uh, don't overload the scale. So if you weigh over 560 pounds, you got to get another scale. Um, automatically comes on and it turns on by itself when you step on it and it powers off after you get off. So you know, there's no on and off button that you have to mess with. It does take the four batteries. Um, to calibrate the scale, anytime you pick it up and move it, it recalibrates. It does say on the very first use, don't take the first reading as the actual weight. I want you to step on it. It says, uh, da, 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 da. the first weight reading, after the first weight reading, step off the scale and allow it to turn off. This will complete the calibration process. So then you got to step back on and try it again. So we'll check that out. That's got a little troubleshooting guide. And, the warranty uh, information. I believe it does come uh, it's got a two year two year warranty on it inside there so if you guys are wondering about that so now let's uh, get to the scale here I know you guys are waiting the scale is uh, it's made out of heavy glass this glass is it's nice Nice looking, it's thick. I don't know if you can see that. There the feels, that's the back of it. You sit on the ground and it does have, uh, it has some pads right here. See if I can get those out. That's a little stick on uh, rubber pads that you can put on the bottom of the feet to keep from uh, scratching your floor up if you have nice wood floors or tile floors or whatever. I don't think I have to worry too much about my floor. Um, so I'm not going to put those on right away. If it starts messing it up, then I will uh, turn it over and put them on. I got them. So now let's. Uh, See if we can uh, put these batteries in right quick. Does take four. Two of them go one direction and the other two go the other direction. So don't put them all in the same direction or it's not going to work for you. And it also has on the back here, it has a little button. It's already set to pounds, but you can set it to, set it to kilograms or whatever the other unit is. Um, if you live overseas or something like that, you change it to the metric system. But, I guess, I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, that's the scale. It's nice, real thick glass, look good in the bathroom. I'm gonna go uh, give it a go. I'm gonna see, uh, now I'm getting kind of nervous uh, coming to the first weigh-in. But yeah, this is uh, for you guys that are watching this just for the unboxing. Hope I answered any of your questions. It's the Ozeri 560. Precision Pro Max. Like I said, I'll put the link to the uh, actual unit in the description for you guys so you can go check it out on your own and see some other scales. Like I said, this is the best one I found for the weight. Most of the ones that I found go up to 440, which I wanted to make sure that uh, I had one that would weigh enough. I just thought it would be a better scale if it weighs more. So that's why I went with the 560. Um, so yeah, there it is. Let me take you guys down and we'll go check it out real quick. So be right back. All right, guys. So let's uh, set it right here. Let's see. This is going to be my first time. It says it, says it recalibrates every time you move it.
says to step off the first time and uh, let it power off and recalibrate and then try it again. Okay, so there it goes, it powers off. Here we go. Four thirteen point eight. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I want to check it one more time just to see if it weighs the same. So let's try it again. All right, guys, so I'm pretty stoked about that, 413.8. I was really worried that, uh, whew, I don't know, I was thinking it was going to come out to 450, 460, and it was only going to be like 10 or so pounds, but I've really been uh, working my ass off on this diet, and uh, so 414 pounds, which is, I can't even think, think right now, and usually my mathematics is good, so 479. Says so sixty five pounds. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. If it's uh I can't believe it. So anyway, that's uh um I'm glad to see that I went down that much. I'm gonna keep this going, I'm gonna keep moving. Um, you guys, if you are having problems with your weight, you can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it. Subscribe to this channel and watch for more weigh-ins and uh, more progress. Starting to get a little bit emotional here because I didn't think that I could do it. But, uh, yeah, uh, from 479 on January 1st to uh, 414 on the March 1st, that's my first weigh-in and uh, I'll do a weigh-in uh, each month, so subscribe to the channel, join this ride with me, start your own journey, follow me along, mash that subscribe button, mash the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos, and uh, like and comment on this video to help this channel grow, so um, I'll see you guys in the next video, um, man, just keep moving. You know, start today. If you haven't started yet, just start today. Start doing one little thing. Look at some other videos on how to start deleting uh, different things. Um, also today on the 1st, I, I did have a, uh, a chair in my bathroom. So when I was getting ready in the morning because my back and legs would start hurting, I removed that today. Uh, that's one of my deletes uh, that I'm taking out. I'm no longer going to sit down in there when I'm getting ready. going to strengthen up my legs and keep strengthening my back as I lose more weight. So... Uh, yeah, just think positive and keep moving. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm closer to my uh, goal weight. And I hope you guys join me till the end. And uh, I got to get ready for work now. But uh, we'll see you in the next video. And thank you. Oh, and one more thing, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please mash that subscription button. It's right there. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos on Operation Keto with Big Boy JC. Go ahead and hit it. It's right there. Hit the button, like the video, and leave a comment. Please help this channel grow. Thank you.